Hey everybody. Today's session is going to be about PIM, or Privileged Identity Management. Uh, more industry standard term would be PAM, Privileged Access Management, uh, inside of Office 365, Azure AD, and how to automate it using uh, scripts, PowerShell specifically. So remember, if you like the video, make sure to hit the like button below and subscribe to, to our channel. So let's get started, uh, you know, just a PIM overview here. Uh, so we implement PIM in order to track and provide just-in-time access for our administrators. This is a P2 feature, uh, so you'll have to upgrade your Azure AD account, uh, the license, to a P2. And once you have PIM activated, You'll notice there's a lot of roles inside of Microsoft 365. Uh, all of the workloads like SharePoint, Skype for Business, Teams, all have roles. And this is helpful because you can get very granular with what access you give to what admins. So the Teams admin role doesn't need access to a global admin, they just need it to the Teams admin. So uh, one of the ones I usually script out is Teams administrator role. And this is helpful for running those scripts uh, weekly or daily scripts to export data from Teams. You know, with Teams taking off, there's a lot of automation that we need to put into place. And typically, these scripts that I write, you would have to log into the web interface, request Teams admin, uh, and then run your script. But there's another way. There are PowerShell scripts out there, and I'll link to the one that I'm using in the comments below that allows us to request that Teams admin role um, just in time in our script. So let's jump over to Visual Studio Code. There's a few prerequisites that we need for, for this uh, uh, commandlet that I wrote. So we're going to need the Azure AD preview. And we're going to need the Azure module as well. So once we install those, we can go ahead and uh, run the script. So up top, there's some basic information that we need. So the username, the password, the tenant ID, and what role to activate. Now, this password, clear text, that's really not the password, but um, I would suggest using Credential Manager on your Windows device to store usernames and passwords that you run in, in PowerShell, or use the Azure Key Vault if you're going to be running these scripts online. So once we've activated this, um, we can go ahead and connect to Azure AD. That's these scripts, this, these lines right here. And then what we need to do is we have to get the, uh, the ID of the user who we want to request admin access for. And in this case, it is the same account that we're logging in with, so PIM admin. We also have to set a schedule. So um, what we do is we say from now, like get date uh, right now, to get date add one hour, right? So we're we're uh, grabbing now and running it for an hour. The next one is the role ID. Um, so you can run this uh, get az role definition and then specify the role to activate. In our case, uh, this is the GUID for Teams admin. So I'm just going to run that one. And then this is where the magic happens right here is the open Azure ADMS privileged role. So in here, it takes all these parameters, and I won't go through uh, for everybody, but at the end, we do have a reason for activation. So I always like to put auto activate or script activate um, such that you know the, the people in the audit world understand that I was activating this through one of my scripts. So let's go ahead, we'll run this line. And this goes out to Azure AD and asks for ele um, uh, assigning or activating the role. Awesome. So now let's just double check, make sure it went through. Uh, so I'll go back down. 
This was a Teams administrator. Um, and so then we have three tabs, right? We have the eligible assignments, the active ones, who is who are actively uh, using the um, the identity, and then ones you know kind of like from a, a historical standpoint, which ones have expired. So under active, we can see uh, this was the user PIM admin, and we requested it, uh, and it's going to end an hour from now. So this is pretty cool. We don't need to log into Teams. Or we don't need to log into Azure AD to elevate our access for PIM. Um, you know, this is we can do it through scripting. And why this becomes even more cool is that when you get into Azure Runbooks, for example, um, and you start writing out Runbooks to extract weekly status, well, these the accounts that these runbooks use need admin access and um, if you're protecting everything using pim then you would need to be uh, logging in through the web browser activating it and then running your runbook so <laughs> you would have to do a lot of manual things but instead what you can do is just upload that script uh, and use it as part of your runbook so that the first step of the runbook is to activate the PIM role. And then the second part is to do the payload, such as extract your weekly Teams usage, in my example. So it's pretty basic, but uh, it, it saves approximately 30 to 40 seconds every day in my life. Uh, so, you know, add that up across the whole year and you can see that it's, it's shaving off uh, hours of work in my world. So hope you liked this. Uh, remember to hit the like button if you did. And then if you want to subscribe for future videos, hit the subscribe button. Uh, and if you need to get a hold of myself or anyone at NetWoven, please email us at info, uh, info at netwoven.com. Thanks. Bye.